Coin Ops 2 releasing a light gun pack. This is going to work with the Sinden light gun, the aim track light gun. If you just want to use your dang mouse that's sitting right in front of you maybe, or if you want to use a Wii light gun bar. This is primarily main games and there's a lot of them. Area 51, Zombie Raid, Point Blank, all kinds of fun games for main. So in this video we're going to go ahead and show you each game like you're seeing now as it looks like on coin ops 2 i'm also going to share with you how to set it up specifically for the sindon light gun which requires a slight modification and then we'll play some games as well but if you want a nice main light gun pack look no further it's pretty sweet let's go ahead and check it out So you're just gonna go ahead and download this pack. You can find it on backups.me. And then here it is after I dragged and dropped it into my CoinOps Next 2 standalone build. And uh, you just go to all, go over to Light Gun. For the next three minutes of the video, I'm just gonna scroll through the games. If you wanna go and fast forward three minutes, you'll see how to configure these games and how to get them working for the Sin and Light Gun. And then we'll get into some gameplay and my final thoughts. So once you drag and drop it, you should have a file directory similar to this. You can go ahead and delete the bezels, um, but what you do is you do want to get rid of the bezels temporarily or delete them if you're using the Sinden light gun. The other thing you want to do is just launch the main standalone, go ahead and go into advanced settings, device mapping, and make sure you have the light gun enabled. Um, this will allow you both the aim track light gun and the Sinden to work. The other thing you could do is just, instead of deleting the bezels, you could just go over here, click on the game, go to the machine options, go to advanced options, it says use bezels, go ahead and turn that off. Fairly simple, right? But don't forget to save it. And you also need to go ahead, this isn't actually done yet, you wanna go ahead and turn on force aspect ratio. I learned this the hard way, because if you just do it like this, look, it's full screen now. If you don't mind playing with a stretch resolution, that's fine, it's gonna look a little funky but it will fill your full screen. You can absolutely run it like that. But if you wanna keep the 4-3 ratio, go ahead and go back to the game, go to video options here, and see where it says enforce aspect ratio on this list. Go ahead and set that to on. That will go ahead and keep it as the original aspect ratio like it was meant to be. Make sure you save it though, because if you don't save your settings, they will not actually go through. So that if, you, if you're doing it and nothing's changing, you might not be saving it. And then here we go, now we have the 4-3 ratio. 
once you save all these settings, you can absolutely use the coin ops front end. I'm just doing it all the back end work as you know, to show you in this video. Don't forget to turn on your send and light gun uh, software and you can play with the borders you want to use. But you can see in this video, I use the thinner borders and you can still see the reloading and everything else. Um, make sure you turn on your light gun. Um, and then it's got, it should be rock and rolling. I'll show share with you next how to set up your controls in the game. But you're gonna see, I actually have some really great performance with this thing, the way I have it set up like this. There you go. Enter. Um, you can enable and disable the bezel with this button here. You see that? And again, remember we turned off, or this adds the border, not the bezel. We turned off the bezel, which was a sign we added our border here. If you need to change your controls really quick, you just hit tab on your computer, on your computer. Go over to this game's controls. Gun one, I just hold it, hit enter, shoot. Now it says I have my gun. X axis, you actually wanna go slow. And there you go, I just went to the left on my screen. We're good there. Gun Y, go up and down. Or just down, you only need to go one direction on the plane. And then make sure you have a key, you have a coin. I have keyboard five as my coins. I think you can actually do the coins on your controller too. Let's watch that. So I can actually bind my coin so I don't even need my keyboard to add coins as I die through the game. And then same with the start button, I can go ahead and bind that as well with my... So, pretty simple, right? Actually, I don't know if that worked. Oh, I guess this shows up as keyboard one. Okay, cool. All right, and then... Uh, I'm using the thin bezel right now, it looks really good. And I already played this, it's gonna run really well. So, let's go ahead and insert some tokens. Insert tokens, hit start. Okay, the start did not bind. I was afraid of that. Um, let's try a different one though. So you can't do that, let me try a different start button. So we did that for start, let me try this button. Okay, that one worked. All right, I got it now. So I use the second button on the left side, that works. Okay, so I, I can bind it all on here. So we just shoot. No cross here, fairly accurate. The reloading can be a little difficult at times. You just gotta be really deliberate on uh, moving the gun way far away. but it's running really good. So let's do overlay off, I'm sorry, overlay on, bezels off, and then, uh, We want to go ahead and um, force the aspect ratio. Save. All right, let's launch the game. So we launch the game. Make sure this is on. Set our controls. It actually should be good already. B, X, and Y. Coin is five. We can go ahead and change the coins. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're good. No, uh, no cross. 
shots here. here. So close. Oh, so close. Sometimes you get. So the light gun pack for coin ops 2 is an official pack Really cool mostly maim games and with the sin and light gun You just have to make those slight changes to take off those overlays Other than that. It's a really nice light gun collection. These games don't require fast computers to run them It's really easy to change your controls turn the bezels on and off you can use it with the sin and light gun You can use it with an aim track light gun you can use it with the Wii remote and a Wii bar. Um, really, it's it's pretty good. I like this pack because it's simple, although where it lacks is in its diversity and other games. Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, Techno Parrot. Um, there's some really great PC games like uh, House of the Dead, Typing of the Dead, uh, Blue Estate, um, many, many other great games. And this is not tapping into it. However, this is a small, small download. And because of the small download, it's, um, I think, accessible for a lot of people. Um, so, on Lelic and Coin Ops 2, this pack is definitely a great one. In the next video, I'm going to do a video of which of the packs are the best. Because there's really three builds out there that I know for the PC that are great for light guns. And I'm going to be go ahead and telling you why I like one versus the other. This is one build. Another build would be... Um, the uh, the coin ops PC unofficial build, which is for coin ops one, and then there's also the coal pipes build where he has a launch box build, and there's a lot of great light gun games on that, although it's not a light gun pack. So I'm gonna kind of break those three down unless anyone out there has another option out there besides building it yourself from scratch. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.